on the pastures of the wilderness and the and the little hills rejoice on every side the pastures are clothed with flocks the valleys also are covered with grain they shout for joy they also sing so anytime you see famine in the scripture it's always indicative of the curse of living in a world that is separated from god Famine is part of life in this cursed world. It's part of the fallen uh, nature of, of the earth, the perverted nature of the earth because of sin. And so famines happen. We see it in the prodigal. When the prodigal went to a faraway land and then all of a sudden a famine came into the land. And, and, and that is the way of this world, world. But God is always the one who brings abundance. God is always the one who brings rain when there's drought. God is always the one who brings food when there's famine. God is always the one who's blessing. And so it's a perspective that David has that we need to get, get a hold of, that we need to grasp, that when blessing comes into our life, it's because of God, that he's the one that brings blessing. When when cursing comes into our life or when, 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 uh, when something comes into our life that isn't a blessing, that that is either just part of living in a broken world or it's because the enemy is attacking you or it's because you've invited it in because of sin. You've brought destruction into your own life. The world, the flesh, and the devil. Those are the three sources of pain and distress and disease. God is always the one who is forgiving. God is always the one who is blessing. God is always the one who is saving. God is always the one who's restoring. God is always the one who is blessing. And that's how we have to see God. Especially if you're going to be effective in ministering to people, you have to see him correctly. So when you look at yourself and you go, wow, I'm having a hard time right now. Things aren't really going my way. You have three places.